there some voodoo going on at the free throw line tonight or what? We just got to work on our free throws. We shot 52%. That's unacceptable. I spent a lot of energy on the defensive end. Just do you attribute some of that to fatigue? I th no, no. I, I, I think we play great defense, uh, but, you know, just a lot of details. M missing free throws, uh, offensive rebounds, you know, you work hard for 24 seconds and then you give up fancy rebounds. It's kind of tough. Uh, but overall, I think we play great defense. It just wasn't enough. Luke, obviously, uh, you know, we're used to seeing you and Kyrie combine for close to 60 a game. Uh, what's been so difficult for you guys to get in a groove, you know, specifically tonight, but uh, really all series long? And there's a f so I think they're so focused on us. Uh, um, they collapse the paint very well. Uh, you know, when we both drive it, and they collapse the paint, collapse the paint or almost five guys. Uh, so I think that's been difficult for us. Uh, we just got to find open teammates. Look, as you guys came off the floor, there was a lot of frustration, understandably. So what is the – where are you guys right now mentally? How do you bounce back from, from it seems, anyway, giving one away here? Oh, just go next game. It's first of four. Uh, stay humble, you know, stay ready. Uh, and it's the same as after game one. Uh, you know, you get ready, uh, see mistakes you make, and go on. Luke, um, you played really hard on the defensive end today or tonight. Um, how are you feeling just physically right now? Great. Do you have any concern level about just the way this loss went and the ability to bounce back just from the way it lost, the, f the fact that you guys missed those free throws? No, no, I mean, no concern. Uh, we just got to be ready, uh, you know. We got to play hard like we did today. I think we played really hard. Big, big energy today. Uh, but like I said, some details, uh, you know, cost us the game. And we just got to be ready again. And uh, Obviously, it's going to be hard on the road. Uh, but we've done it before. We can do it again. Uh, pretty dominant defensive performance by you guys through three quarters. And they scored 35 in the fourth. What changed in the fourth, uh, other than obviously Shea making shots? Yeah, I mean, he was unbelievable. He kept making shots. Uh, and maybe at some point we got to send double team, you know, to uh, he's just too good, uh, very good. Uh, but every shot uh, he took, you know, he was contested by PJ and DJ. Uh, but just, you know, he's he's very good in that. Uh, he works on that a lot. So uh, it's he gets to his spot and then knock it in. Is that... Uh, the, the little 15, 16, 14 footer there that he makes a lot, is that one of those shots that you guys kind of have, have decided you'll live with rather than <coughs> at the brim or at the line? Three -point? I don't know. Uh, I mean, that's his shot. Uh, I don't know how we're going to live with that. Uh, but like I say, you know, he gets to his spot and it's just hard to stop him. Um, what was Jason's message to you guys in the locker room afterward, just after it lost? Like that stays in the locker room, man. <laughs>
superstar, man. I think they're uh, I'm not worried about them at all. Um, obviously, he's done a great job of just throwing different um, things at them, um, doubles, um, forcing them to take uh, contested shots and just trying to make everything tough for them. But um, like I said, they're superstars and they'll figure it out. So I'm really not worried about them. Um, we just have to do a better job, like I said, the free throws, uh, late game, um, mishaps on defense, and uh, we can't afford to do that. So. CJ, on the, uh, when you were shooting those last free throws uh, after you missed the first, was there any discussion about you purposely missing the second? Yeah, I tried to miss it, and if you miss my luck, it goes in. So, um, like I said, I mean, obviously, th throughout the game, you got to be better at the line. And if you're bad, I think you win the game. So, um, obviously, I mean, just a bunch of little things we can look at them and get better at. CJ, was there a specific message in the locker room from the coach or from one of the veterans on Kevin or Marquise or anybody? Uh, no, I mean, I think everybody was kind of upset about losing this one, so we'll bounce back tomorrow, uh, do what we got to do to get better, and uh, figure it out from there. Well, you guys have been doing some pretty nice stuff so far. <coughs> Terry has been clicking. So what did you learn from that that you kind of brought your team over the line for right now with those losing streaks? Um, we know what type of team we are, um, and we know what we have. We just have to play like it each and every night. So for us, like I said, I mean, the fourth quarter wasn't uh, an average basketball, but it's it's been so. Like I said, we just got to clean, obviously, the whole second half up. So, um, like I said, I'm not worried about uh, anybody's mentality or anything, so we'll get better. CJ, <laughs> you kind of alluded to it a, a little bit, but I was going to ask you since you keep starting that one, and it's just a little things you have to clean up, but I know the team has a lot of confidence in itself. Is there, I know it's been more of a break, but is there a little bit of, of confidence going into every game? Yeah, I think we're always confident. I mean, we know how good we are, and we know how uh, good we need to play together. So, for us, like I said, just Look at just little things that we need to clean up on and uh, make sure we do a better job of uh, rebounding in the end of games, obviously not fouling, and uh, just being better on the defensive end and um, taking care of the ball. Uh, CJ, obviously the Clippers series is very physical. This series has been very physical. How confident just from a physical standpoint are you for this team moving forward if it continues to be a physical game? I love playing basketball in a physical game, so for me it's, um, it's what I like to do. So like I said, I mean, we just have to be better taking care of the ball, um, all the little stuff. So just the simple things for us to know. Jason, 52% from the free throw, free throw line tonight. Just what do you attribute that to? Um, that's, you know, one is probably unacceptable. You know, we, we got to do better. We've talked about it as a group. Um, we can't shoot 50% if we want to win. Um, you know, so we'll, uh, we'll talk about tomorrow and we'll, we'll get better and we'll have an opportunity on Wednesday. I know you guys spent a lot of time on the defensive end, a lot of energy. Could that factor into it a little bit, especially there in, in, late in the game? Um, I, I, it's basketball, so I don't know if that's going to – that's really a question. Um, you know, when you look at it's just part of the game, you got to be able to step up and, and make free throws. They were 23 out of 24, and we weren't even close. So um, – it's a part of the game. We, we just have to be better in that area. Why do you think the uh, offense started to stagnate, uh, especially, the, you know, especially the third quarter? You guys scored 15 points. Yeah, I give Oklahoma City credit. Um, you know, I don't know if it was that um, it came to a halt. We we turned the ball over. We we have to be better with the ball. Um, and so also we we missed some shots that we made there in the first half. But give Oklahoma City credit; they were good in that third quarter. Coach, is there anything specific you're seeing with Luka and Kyrie and their, you know, scoring struggles, or just is it just one of those series where the Thunder are just locking in and playing great defense? Yeah, I think uh, we didn't think this was going to be easy. I don't think they thought it was going to be easy, and so it's a game of runs. Uh, they made a run there late in the fourth, um, but we had an opportunity to tie it, um, and we didn't capitalize on it. But um, when you look at the scores on both sides. The percentages aren't always going to be great, but uh, they've tried to find a way to win. And I think Kai is doing a great job of leading um, on the defensive end, um, and he's taking his opportunities on the offensive end. He just didn't knock them down tonight. And then speaking of the stars, Shea on the other side, great game. He's had a great series. Um, so what are your thoughts on his performance overall in the series so far? Yeah, he's been great, just like you said. Is there anything in particular, Jason, you, you guys can do to, to slow Shea down? Yeah, I mean, he, he took almost 30 shots tonight. Uh, he has the ball 90% of the time. 
you just got to make it tough. He's one of the top players in the world. You got to just contest. We got to be better. Um, but I thought, again, the guys did a good job. He's one of the best players in the world, and, and tonight he got to his sweet spot. So we just got to go back and look at that and, and make sure that we can try to slow him down a little bit. Um, we, we sent different you know, guys at him, um, trying to wear him down. But tonight uh, he made big shots. Jason, what have you thought about how the bigs have attacked some of Oklahoma City's smaller defenders or even if Chet is down there in the post? Yeah, I think um, you know, our bigs could be better. Um, and, and tonight we weren't very good, but um, you know, it, we'll get another opportunity on Wednesday um, to be able to attack. Jason, I'm curious with the free throw shooting, uh, that's something that at least for Luca has been a little bit of a concern at, uh, throughout his career. Is that something that you change practice allocation time for? Is that something that has to be done individually? Is there a way that you can go about, hey, we need to fix this problem and here's how? You're asking me to fix the free throw shooting? Uh, I'm asking you if there is a What's way, like, well, well, if there is a strategy to do that. Um, yeah, these are pros. Um, they're not machines. It, they, they practice their free throws. Um, they practice putting on their uniform. And so... Um, it's just about being able to step up. You're going to make some, you're going to miss some. No one's ever, you know, shot 100% from the free throw line. So it's just a matter of being able to simulate um, late game. Um, we'll, we practice them during practice. Um, they practice them when they shoot um, individually. Um, some guys in this league shoot a high percentage. Some guys shoot in the 70s. Some guys shoot in the 50s. Um, and that's just the nature of, of their makeup. And so... Um, you just got to hope that they make them at the right time if they're not shooting a high percentage. Um, but, again, these guys practice shooting free throws. They practice their threes. They practice, uh, you know, everything, and that's what makes them great. Just one series ago, you guys were up 2-1, lost at home, but then you rebounded and won in L.A. Uh, I assume that gives you confidence, but also wonder, on the converse side, just the way you guys lost this game, you know, the ability to overcome that, losing in, in that manner, what, what gives you confidence to, to be able to do that? Um, well, this is a great group. This is a tight-knit group, and we've always bounced back. Um, and so we just got to focus on, on Wednesday. Uh, we'll come in tomorrow. Um, we'll watch film. We'll, we'll talk about what we have to do to get better. Um, but we've been in this situation before, so we can learn from the past. Um, this is the number one team in the Western Conference. Uh, it's two to two, so um, we get to we get to keep playing and we get to play on Wednesday. Coach, going off that two to two, um, still a disappointing loss. And I'm sure some of the young guys they didn't, might not look at it as two to two. They might see, oh, it's a disappointing loss, frustration. What is your message to those young guys when they're you know maybe getting frustrated after just one loss like this? Um, the same message after game one. We were disappointed. We didn't play well. We didn't play well tonight, and so it's two to two, first team to four, um, and we get a chance to play on Wednesday, and so we'll see what happens.